Hi guys, Noel here. Today we are looking at the Creative Stage V2. Now the Creative Stage V2 is a sound system consisting of a soundbar and subwoofer. Let's start with a quick overview on what's included inside the box. You can skip around the video using the chapter system. Unboxing. So first you get the soundbar strapped with foam and plastic. Underneath the soundbar is a remote control, also in a plastic bag. Then next to it you have the subwoofer which I recommend either having the box flat and pulling it out or having another person to help you put it out. It's not that the subwoofer is heavy or anything, it's just that it's tightly packed inside the box. Okay after that you pull out a brown box which contains all the wires and manuals, that is everything you get inside the box. Setup is pretty easy and quick. You get a bunch of wires and a US and UK plug, which is nice. So for me, I had one wire from the subwoofer, another for power and HDMI cable going to the back of my TV. There are a few other cables in the package. Features. Let's talk about features. There's a display at the front, which is always on and can sometimes be distracting. But the display shows everything from sound settings, which I'll get to in a bit, to the audio output. So for these settings, we can use the remote control. For some smaller settings, we can use the side of the soundbar to control volume, Bluetooth, and turning the speaker on and off. Back to remote, so let's start with output. To change the audio output, you have to press the designated button, and you can use any of the many options, including HDMI, Bluetooth, USB, and a few more. To change the volume, you have to tap the up, down button on the ring. To change audio settings, you have to use the bass treble button, and turn up each of those using the other set of volume buttons on the top of them. There are some buttons on the remote which I don't understand the use for, like play, pause. Also, if you're plugged into your TV, you can just use your TV remote to change the volume of the speakers, which is nice. So going back to Bluetooth, you can connect these speakers to devices like your phone and play music or anything on the speakers from your device. This is a bonus feature, but definitely nice to have. So let's just talk about price quick. They come in at around £100, which is quite an affordable option for a soundbar. Anyways, final thoughts. I wanted to point out the small issue I personally had. I turned on the TV and I wouldn't get the audio straight away. It'd take around 20 plus seconds to get the audio working, which isn't too bad, but it would have been nice for it to work instantly. Also, I have to mention the top of the soundbar is glossy, so it accumulates a lot of dust. Let's talk about the sound quality and volume. Because let's be honest, that's the main reason you're buying a soundbar. So, the bass with these is pretty good and gets better if you turn up the bass volume and the normal volume. It also depends on how much bass the actual audio you are listening to has. Other than bass, the audio sounds decent, but then again, I'm not audio expert to my ears. The audio sounds balanced and definitely better than the inbuilt speakers of the TV. If you want more information on the Creative Stage V2, check the link in the description below. Do the positives outweigh the negatives? That's for you to decide. Thank you for watching. This product was provided by Creative, but they had no editorial input and no compensation was provided in exchange for its video coverage. They also didn't get an early preview of this video.